Um, and so far, I can say it has been extremely stressful. I severely underestimated how much work I had to do to reopen, both getting the van ready, ordering products, booking in dogs, and um, staying true to how I want the business to be. Less than two weeks away, and we still have stuff to do on the van. I still haven't ordered shampoos, and I need to book in about a million clients and probably turn away about a million clients. Uh, so currently feeling very overwhelmed. Hello friends, it is November 1st. 2021 and today is both international pet groomer appreciation day so i just want to tell you guys that i appreciate all of you whether your pet parents tell you that or not those pets that you work on do appreciate all the work that you do i've got everly down here making noise you can probably hear and today is also reopening of pause and relax so tonight i have a dog um on wednesday i have a dog i have a full day on thursday and then a half day on saturday so i'm going to be taking you guys through my first week back to work i am only going back to work part time so november and december i'm doing two nights a week of just one dog thursdays i'm doing four dogs and then saturdays i'm doing like two to three dogs we figured out to kind of sustain our lives and have the extra money that <laughs> we want. I need to do about eight dogs a week. So that's how it's working out for November and December. And then I think from January on, I'm just working Wednesday, Thursdays, four dogs a day. But we are going to see. I just finished up a Lynn Professional haul see video. That? Yeah which should be up before this video. So if it is, I will link it for you guys. And this week is going to be my first week testing all of the new eye groom shampoos that I got and all of my products. Let's see what little Evie's up to here. What are you doing? Are you playing with the box? Uh, yeah, look. Say hi. Uh, bye. <laughs> She's saying bye to you guys. So um, it is like three o'clock. I'm going to be doing my first dog once Corey gets home. That's why I'm doing evenings on Mondays and Wednesdays. So I need to figure out what shampoo I'm going to try on the dog tonight and load up all these other products and get it out to my van. And honestly, I'm feeling nervous, very anxious. I don't really know why. I think it might be because we changed the stuff around in the van and this is going to be the first client's house I'm going to try to plug in at instead of run my generator the whole time. I will get into that probably some other time. Um, yeah, I'm feeling nervous, but I will try to document as much as I can about it. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip. dog back in the van, Miss Bella. We're gonna give her a nice fluffy term today. Hey friends, so it is now Wednesday during Everly's nap time. I'm out in the garage getting prepped for the one dog that I have tonight. On Monday, I had one dog. I think I mentioned to you guys that I was nervous to go to that dog. It was a dog nearby my house. I got there around five o'clock and then got home around like seven kind of thing. She takes about an hour and 45 minutes. There was also a little bit of a hiccup in the beginning, plugging the van into their house. We couldn't find an outlet that it worked for. So I'm hoping on future houses, I don't have that issue. The dog that I have tonight is this really cute little Yorkie that should be a pretty fast groom tonight. I think she takes a little bit over an hour. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I kind of set up to go to work for just one dog. Um, because it's really pointless to fill all the water in the van when it's cold out just to go do one dog. 
for tomorrow when I have a full day of dogs, then I will be filling the van like normal. Um, yeah, as I started working on that first dog on Monday, uh, my anxiety eventually went away and it was actually really nice to get out of the house and then I was so excited to come see Everly when I got home. So that was nice. I'm very curious to see how I feel after tomorrow, after a full day, if it's going to feel like too much or I don't know, I guess we're going to find out. I found that after being off for a year, I had a lot of anxiety driving. Um, and also now that I'm a mom, I feel like I'm not just worried about myself. So the anxiety that I'm having driving is like, if I get in an accident and die, then my daughter won't have a mom anymore. And I know that's kind of dark, but just being honest. Also, I know my Monday dog, I think I just took before, during and after clips. The one tonight and the other ones the rest of the week, I'm gonna try to remember to take more clips, but sometimes I just get like way too overwhelmed and yeah. Okay, so this little poster board is actually something for Everly's birthday. Um, so what I need to do is I really wanna get this paw mat that I showed in my Lynn professional video. I will link that for you guys. Cut down to the size of my table because it's too big. So I wanna do that right now before she wakes up. Um, also, I have this little white container that I bring into the van with me and I put in all of my shampoo, sprays, and conditioner that I'm either going to be using on that one dog or for tomorrow, all the dogs, because I don't want it like freezing in the van. So I'm going to choose the shampoos that I'm going to use for my little Yorkie friend tonight. And she's kind of like, her fur's a little bit more wiry. We usually do her like decently short. So I'm gonna put all that together. And then also I'm hoping I can get a clip tonight of my new bathing system for when I only have one dog. So right before I leave, I will fill this up with water and then I will show you guys this little doodad. So the dog on Monday, I use the eye groom de-shedding and detangling. I've got a gallon pump on here to make it nice and easy. Um, that dog often gets lots of like undercoat that gets matted, so I used this. Tonight I'm going to try the volumizing conditioner on, the dog's name is Picola, she's so cute. Um, and then I'm going to keep both my Magic Mist spray and my Wonder spray in this little caddy. Um, Last dog was the first time I used the Wonder Spray. I don't think I ended up using the Magic Spray. No, I didn't. Um, love the Wonder Spray. The one side of her I dried and forgot to spray her, and then the other side I did spray her with the Wonder Side, and she dried so much faster, so big fan of that. And then the shampoo that I used on Monday was the Eye Groom Argan and Vitamin E. At the time, once I got the dog lathered up, I wasn't sure how I felt about the scent. You guys know I'm very particular with scents. And I still don't know how I feel about it smelling it in the bottle, but it smells so good in my van right now. So I don't know, maybe this one is going to uh, grow on me. So I'm gonna go pick a shampoo for her as well and I'll show you what I end up with. Tonight we are going to go with the squeaky clean shampoo. I chose this one because she has more sometimes of a dry wiry type coat and it talks about having the chia that adds moisture and nourish hair. So I'll let you know what I think of this and then also the extreme volume conditioner. So we're going to try these together tonight and then also the two sprays that I mentioned. I also have a squeeze bottle if I want to dilute the shampoo. And then, yes, like I said, this will get filled up with water and then I will show you my bathing system tonight. Hey guys, popping in with some voiceovers. So right now I'm just filling up my bucket with warm water and then putting in my bathing system and then I put a lid on top this is very helpful because when I carry it out to the van, this water is heavy and it keeps the water from spilling everywhere while I'm driving. So this is little Piccola and right now I am opening up my water. 
there's an on and off switch and then also a switch that controls the flow of the water and also somewhere where you can recharge it. Now this actually has really good pressure. I've been so impressed with this little shower off Amazon. I will link it down below, but also in a separate video, I'm going to feature both this and another bathing system that I show later on in the video. This bucket shower system I use for when I'm either doing a single dog in the evening and it's pointless to fill up my entire tank in the back, especially in winter, or if my pipes are frozen and I still have to work, I bring buckets along with me, fill up with warm water as I go, and just wash the dogs by hand. She got a fluffy guard comb cut, and then I also go over her with scissors and thinners to create a nice soft look on her coat. And here she is all finished. Such a beautiful little Yorkie in her kitty corner shop bandana that has the pause and relax logo on it. Thursday morning, my first full day and my daughter woke up with her very first fever. So I stayed home in the morning with her and then pushed my dogs back. Corey came home at noon and then I went and did as many dogs as I could fit in. So this is Daisy. You've seen in the previous clip her getting her Reiki head massage that every dog gets as long as they tolerate it in the bath. And here she is getting her nails dremeled nice and short. The Dremel that I'm using is the one that I mentioned that I was going to try off of Amazon. And guys, it's amazing. It's wireless around $30, comes in two different colors, has a diamond bit, holds a charge amazing, has a light that I love slash hate, love because you can see the quicks and white nails, hate because sometimes it blinds me, but if it annoys you, you could just cover it with a piece of tape. Honestly, I think it is worth trying. So far, absolutely love it. This next pup is Daisy's brother, Frank. He's a bit of an anxious guy, so we take things slow, but he seems to improve every time that I groom him and he definitely enjoyed his massage today. Next, I went to go do Callie, and she is the sweetest senior mini schnauzer ever. You are seeing a first view right now of me using my new car wash nozzle. You'll see it a little bit better in a clip later on, but I absolutely love it in place of a bathing system. It really saves on wash time, gets down to the skin awesome. Callie usually has quite dirty fur that I have to give multiple baths. And honestly, with this nozzle, this was the first time I was using it on her. I think it is the cleanest I ever got her coat. Callie is one lucky pup who gets to go to work with her mom every single day, so I get to bring the van to her mom's work and pamper her a little bit before bringing her back in and seeing all the other employees' reactions is always super fun. Enjoy this time lapse of me trimming up Callie's face and then you get to see the Instagram reel that I made of her all finished. On my way home, I swung by to do a nail trim client that I had scheduled. This is Benji. He does not like getting his nails done, but we have found that he does much better when he is up in the hound hammock. I am not associated with them, but I will link their website down below because I love their products. It's basically a little sling that lifts the dog up off the table. 
And I think this is why the dogs behave better in this because they're just kind of out of their element hanging up in the air. As you can see, I don't even have him that high just so he can't touch the table. He does still make noise and snap at me here and there, but I can actually clip his nails and get them dremeled in a timely manner, and I feel more safe this way. If he gets extra snappy with me, I do use a muzzle as well for the safety of both of us. Sorry for the awful angle, you guys. I'm gonna work on that in my next video. Benji is such a good little guy. He just doesn't like getting his nails done, but he is all done and I get to go home for the day. So I actually didn't plan on working on Friday, but my first full day on Thursday went over time. So I fit in Miss Rosie here on Friday quickly. Her groom took a little bit over two hours. As you can see, she's got a lot of dirty fur and her parents wanted me to keep on as much as I could. So I gave Rosie a nice fluffy trim. She's all nice and clean. And then I was done for the day on Friday. Saturday morning started off bright and early at 9 a.m. with my uncle's dogs, Charlie and Oliver. This is Oliver. As you can see, he is in desperate need of a good D-shed. So before I popped him in the bath, I did a little bit of brushing just to get out all of the initial excess fur. And then I popped him in the tub and you can see me using the little car wash nozzle that I absolutely love. This works great in place of a bathing system. It's about $30 on Amazon. It will be linked down below. The pressure is absolutely amazing. I've been so impressed with this. Way better than spending like $500 on a bathing system. And you can keep the same nozzle on to rinse the dog as well. So I will use the nozzle as you seen and I will work the shampoo into the coat, rinse a little bit, do another shampoo, rinse, conditioner, rinse, and then we move on to the dryer. You can see Oliver's fur blowing around there. I decided to dry him about 80% in the tub just to try to contain as much of the fur and water that's going to be flying around. And the spray that I used on him was the Wonder Spray by iGroom. Absolutely love it to help cut down on drying time and there is no scent. Um, I'll have that product linked down below. I featured it in my Lynn Professional haul. Here is handsome Oliver after his full groom. This is just a portion of the fur that I got off of him. I actually vacuumed once in between, but lots of fluffy snow looking fur <laughs> stuck to my walls and my tub. He was a good D-shed. Next, we're moving on to my uncle's dog, Charlie. She is a chocolate lab. I didn't get a ton of clips of her because her grooming process is fairly simple, but pay attention to how shiny and slick her coat looks in this clip. She's such a good girl, always love grooming her. The last pup to end my very first week back on the right foot is our friend's dog Wrigley. He is a purebred Sheltie and the sweetest little guy ever. Look at him almost falling asleep and enjoying his head massage. What a sweetheart. After lots and lots of brushing, which I totally forgot to film, Wrigley was all done looking like the sweet, floofy, handsome boy that he is. Thank you guys so much for watching this video of my very first week back to work after mat leave. Thank you guys for all of the love and support. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!